What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Landers from... You see it. You see it. l and Line Service. Kansas City, Missouri. Blue Springs area. Back at you. Shout out to Quick Cuts. You know it. You know it. Shout out to Quick Cuts. Yeah. Anyway. What's going on, y'all? Uh, just sitting here. Hey, it's winter time, man. You know, it's a time to brainstorm. It's kind of time to get those numbers together. You know, you know, my, my main thing now is I want to know my numbers. I want to know, um, as far as making money, you know, or not making money, <laughs> you know, I'm still not in that stage. I'm making money. But I'm not making money. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm still spit. I'm still. This is my second year, guys, and I'm still spending more at this time, getting my business in order, equipment, things that I want. I'm still spending more than what I'm actually generating in the business. It's my second year. I guess that's expected, you know, and I'm not talking about the guys that, you know, um, are doing it full time and they numbers are out of the roof, you know, as far as they profit and things like that. You know, I know some guys came into the game, you know, uh, the lawn care business and you heard stories with them. First year, 70,000. Second year, 80 something, 100,000. You know, I'm not, I'm not pulling numbers like that. You know what I mean? I'm still, I'm small, man. I'm small. I got equipment, but I'm small, you know. Uh, I'm still trying to generate more customers. Uh, I'm still in that stage. You guys know what I'm talking about. That stage where you're spending more money getting your business together. And, you know, you're not making as much money as you putting out, you know, and that's okay, I guess, for now, because this is the business startup. You remember, they say it takes one to five years to build a business. And then after that is when you should start making money. So I'm in that stage. I'm in that stage where I'm spending more, but I'm not making that money back. Of my spending that I'm doing so I don't know what, what can you say it's the beginning stage of any type of business unless you're lucky and you know you 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 just if you lucky you know what I mean so I think every small business went through this where they spend more money than what they bring in and that's what I'm that's where I'm at now so I'm hoping my third year I won't be spending as much money at all as far as equipment. I think I got majority of the equipment that I need. Like I said, um, I I just took my leaf back in to get it serviced because it wouldn't start. So, uh, man, you know, maintenance and fixing things and stuff like that, that costs money. So, you know, uh, had to repair my backpack blowers at one point in time. They weren't expensive, but hell, that's still money coming out of my pocket, you know, to, to fix some things and stuff. So all the expenses that I have overshadow probably the profit and the money that I made this year. But that's OK. That's OK. I, I'm not even sweating that because it's that's the way it is. That's the way it is. I'm hoping to grow. So enough of that. But yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. So next year, I'm going to let y'all know that. um I got Kane, my stepson. Uh, he's in a position now where he could come in and run the business. And this is what I've been wanting. I, I've been asking him. I say, hey, can you come run the business and stuff like that? I, mean, I need you to run the business so I can try to make it grow, you know. But I don't want to grow too fast. I don't want to grow too fast at all. I'm, I'm cool with gradually going and... So I don't make as many mistakes. Uh, I just saw a video of Top Notch. 
And, um, you know, he was talking about uh, deconstructing his business, scaling back, you know, because he lost sight of what he actually wanted. And he grew his business. He made a lot of money. I mean, $172,000. That's a lot of money to me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even near that. Nothing. Even close to that. It, man, I'm looking at that number and I'm like, I wish I could make $176,000. I wish. But, you know, he breaks it down of, you know, why he wants to scale back, why he's going back solo, because the overhead is so much. That's why when I buy a piece of equipment, I either want to pay that in cash or I want to pay that off as quick as possible. Quick as possible. I don't want it. I don't want it, you know. So I'm trying to pay those things off quick. And because, uh, you know, I'm trying to learn from... Uh, the guys and their mistakes and that's what the YouTube channel is for you know so you can look at others see their mistakes see their achievements and you kind of shuffle that into your business and see what works what don't works what to stay away from and what to like try out so you know shout out to Top Notch um, I've been watching his channel for a long time and um you know, I hate that he, you know, uh, lost sight of that, but, you know, everybody goes through that, and he knows that, so, you know, if you're not watching your numbers, now, <laughs> everything comes back to my man, Johnny Mo. Johnny Mo always tell you to watch your numbers, know your numbers, and that's what I'm trying to do this year, so I can kind of get a, figure out, like, my numbers, I want to figure out my numbers, what I'm actually spending in gas, what I'm actually spending um, uh, a year in uh, uh, maintenance. Now, I'm going to break all this down and uh, things like that to see how much it's going to take for me to run my business, especially if I'm adding cane uh, for the full time. I'm adding him in here to, to run my business. I'm going to pay him good, too. I'll pay him good, too, because when I do this, I don't want him to think that I'm not paying him right or I'm going to pay him good enough that he ain't going to want to leave. Put it like that. I'm going to pay I'm gonna pay him good so he don't have to worry about that because this is a unique situation that I have. You know, to have somebody come into your business and run it for you and do the work for you and be that uh, foreman slash field manager slash, you know, you know, second in charge person for you to find somebody like that, that you trust, you know, you don't have to worry too much about it and things like that, you know, to find somebody like that, that's willing to do this for you, you got to treat them right so that they stick around, you know, so, uh, and he's going to have to stick around because he wanted to do gutter gutter uh, cleaning. So I'm not doing gutter cleaning. No, I'm not getting up there. But he likes doing gutter cleaning. And if he's going to make some money, you better stick around and do gutter cleaning because now it's on my card. I got new cards, guys. I got new business cards, and that's on my business card. So you better stick around to do these gutter cleanups. Now, I'll help you out with the gutter cleanups, but... Nah, I'm not getting on no heights, you know. Like I said, I see, I see too many people come into the ER that fell off ladders, fell off the roofs, broken bones. So that ain't for me. That's all I'm saying. That's why I never did put, you know, I wanted to do gutter cleanups. I had some, I had some customers asking me to do gutter cleanups this year. So before he came, I was like, I don't do gutter cleanups. So now with the new cards. Uh, we're doing gutter cleaners and that's it but um, like I said I'm a groom Kane to by the way Kane you'll see him Kane's the stepson he was helping me with leaf cleanups and stuff like that so uh, 
he's going to be the second man in charge. So he's going to be running it while I'm trying to build the business, more advertising. I'm going to go out and chase the customers. Now, this is a great time to chase customers when you actually try to chase them for business, you know, instead of chasing your money. You know what I'm saying? So I got to figure out another way, you know, I got a couple of customers that they kind of, they kind of got me, you know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting on, waiting on those payments, but, uh, you know, I might have to go into that, man, you mess, you, you want my business, you got to have your credit card on file. Now, what I do is I send an invoice to them and, you know, majority of them pay on time. They pay a day later or they pay like payday. Or whatever. I don't know their situation, but majority of my customers, they pay on time. But you have a couple of them that, that's not. So next year, especially those customers, they want me to continue business with them. I'm going to have to have a card on file. Now, now if um, um, I just heard it works better, you know, but <clears throat> that's why I'm doing all this brainstorming. It's winter time. It's brainstorming time. It's to time to look at your numbers. It's time to 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 focus on what you're gonna do better. Like I said, in February, I'm hitting it hard on advertisement in February because when I get to March, I feel like I'm behind on the advertisement side. You know, as far as putting out my signs, things like that. But I'm gonna start in February because I start doing work in March. So in February, I'm gonna start hitting it that whole month February. I don't care if it's snow on the ground, you know. Or, or if it's cold, you know, I'm going to hit all of February going into March because I start working in March. So uh, for the last two years, I've been doing jobs in March. So I figured give myself a whole month, hit the neighborhoods that I'm in because I want to consolidate my route. I want to do more eight, nine yards in one area, you know, seven, six, whatever, even five yards. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, and like I said, this is the time to brainstorm, focus, you know, figure out what worked, what didn't work, man, look at YouTube videos of, um, other lawn care companies and see what they're doing, see what advice they have and things like that. And I do that. So I've been trying to get Kane to get on there and, um, and look at, and look at some of these YouTube uh, line care companies that I'd be looking at so it motivates them so he kind of have a little bit more knowledge of of some of the things that we do what we expect and that's what I'm going to be hoping that he he uh, brings to the table you know and maybe he might bring some ideas to me which is what he's doing now uh, how to run some of the uh, to deal with some of the customers to you know like I said he got he started he was looking at Johnny Mo shout out to Johnny Mo he was looking at Johnny Mo and he was looking at his bid proposals and things like that. So he came back to me and said, Hey, I want to do, you know, a proposal thing. I want to be a little bit more professional when I talk to customers or, I, or they want to estimate. I want to give them a bid package or uh, some, some type of like small, not a commercial bid, but something that looks a little bit professional where he's presenting them. He does, you know, sometimes, you know, some people might say, Oh, you know, that's a little bit too much if it's just, you know, uh, if it's not commercial, you know, but he got a proposal, you know, when he goes and talks to a customer. See, he likes to sell. He likes to do sales. So he got that sale mentality. So this is why he's doing this. And I don't mind him doing this. Whatever looks more professional, whatever can bring business. If he can bring business with his proposal thing and the way he presents it to people when he goes knocks on doors or or, or meets up with them to do some type of proposal for like landscaping or, or whatever, I'm all for it. You know, if if this is what it takes to bring that customer in and um, and they see that you're professional, uh, I don't care what you do. That's fine with me. You know, so he got like a little proposal thing. He even put the logo thing on the top. You know what I'm saying? Make it look a little bit more professional. Then he got like the estimate. And he have the estimate. You know, this is basically almost like a thank you letter. Like, hey, thanks for 
choose an L and L line service for your estimate, your proposal. You know, um, that's all this is. That's all this letter is. And then he'll have the estimate. And then he'll also have a sheet uh, like Johnny Mo had in his bid proposal where it says lawn maintenance, uh, uh, bush bush trimming, um, what else? Ours is going to probably have aerating, overseeding, um, uh, bush cleaning, everything that's on the back of my card, you know. And if the customer want it, you know, throughout the season, they put an X or a check by it. And we keep it on file, things like that. So I, this is what you can do when you start getting away from the field. You can start getting a little bit more professional, uh, dealing with the paperwork, uh, dealing with the filing, uh, dealing with, um, you know, uh, getting your book work done. I can concentrate more on that. Uh, I can go on to Yardbook. Yardbook is what I use right now. Uh, to kind of figure out all the other little uh, uh, services that they have that I can utilize. I can go on that and, and mess around with it because now I got time to do it. You know, uh, in the summertime, I ain't got time to do it because I'm, I'm working and I'm working, uh, you know, on the business. So this will free me up a little bit. Once I get him going, it'll free me up. It'll free me up, and that's what I want. I want to be freed up so I can do other things to grow the business um, and see if that works for me. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that that being said, I'm going to show you my old card. I'm going to show you my old card. I'm going to show you my old card, and I'm going to show you my new card. And tell me what you guys think. Now, my old card is this right here. Damn. This is my old card. The typical from Vistaprint. I get my cards from Vistaprint. You know, not bad at all. Nice quality. Thickness of it is good. I put the extra shiny stuff on there, you know. I mean, it looks like a nice car, you know. This logo on here comes with the Vistaprint. It got a whole bunch of, you know, already set logos that you can choose that you can put on here. You know, I did this with my first card. You know, this is before I even had my logo set up and stuff like that. But that's the card. There's nothing on the back of this one. So, Kane, I told him, hey, go on Vistaprint. Do my logo. Put the information in. Make sure you put license and insured because customers love to see that. You know, I'm licensed. I'm insured. I'm good to go on that. Customers like to see that though when they got your card. So I told him make sure you put that on there. And this is what my card looks like. I got two sets of cards. It's card for him and cards for me. So bam. This is the new card. It's the black card. The black card. You know, when you got the black card, man, all access to man deals. Discounts, things like that. That's how I'm gonna present it. Like, hey, do you want do you want the regular card? This is for, you know, but do you want the black card? You know what I'm saying? I'll just joke it around, but you know, that can be some type of like little <laughs> little uh saying that you can do. You know, this I wanted I wanted to put elite customer on here. So when a customer gets this. They feel good. I'm an elite customer. Yeah, you an elite customer. You got the black card. You an elite customer. This way, I can give you deals. I can give you discounts. If you got this card, I put this in my system. You got the black card. Hey, you get deals. You get discounts. You get all that. You know, you get dollar amounts off. If you got this card, bam. Hey, you know. You get regular customer uh, prices, <laughs> no, but I'll just I'll just mess around though. But that is an angle that I can go, you know, if I really wanted to. When I'm like giving this card out and stuff, I'm like, hey, you special with this card right here. I might do it to joke around and stuff with the customer and all that, but you know, I'm giving you my business card so you can call me, call me, call me. 
So, this is my card. I don't know how good you guys can see that, but we got the owner, my name, l and Line Service, phone number, license and insurance. Got like a little nice, little glossy to it, you know. <clears throat> That's the back of it. I don't know why they put this border around it. I didn't ask for the border, but I'm not going to trip on it. I'm not going to trip on it. I probably could call them and be like, hey, you put a border around it. I didn't ask for that. They might send me some new ones without the border, but I'm not even going to sweat it. I'll, I'll think about it, but it's still good. As long as the front look like that, I'm good. That's the front. I mean, that looks good. I'll show you the one Kane has. My second man that's going to be in charge. I'll show you what his look like. He got a different font on his. Uh, the gloss, the, the shininess is a little bit different on the actual logo. See? He got a different font on it. So that's his card. Totally different kind of than what mine is. Uh, let me see. Let me see if you guys can see the difference on it. Different quality of it. I think his is a metallic. And mine's like his the logo right here. See how he is shine a little bit more? His logo shines a little bit more. Mine is just like regular. Mine doesn't shine like that, but it still look good. See his shine. Those are the cards. These are the new cards. Got his name on it. And on the back of his, he got red writing. The same amount, same, same services on that. Mine's green. And it has uh, mowing, full, fall and spring cleaning, leaf cleanups, gutter cleanups. You got them gutter cleanups, Kane. Aeration. And overseeding and I'm gonna push that aeration hard to all my customers I'm pushing that aeration hard which customers should want that anyway because that's the number one thing that makes your lawn healthy you know that's the number one thing that's gonna keep your lawn healthy opening up that soil so uh, like I said, I got pins. Showed y'all I had the pins. Where my pins at? I got the pins. L and L line service. I got pins. Oh yeah, I got these too. They came with an envelope too, so I they get they came with envelopes so that I could give them to customers if I want to. Uh, things like that. Bam, got my logo. You can slap these on refrigerators, anything that's metal, you know. This is a magnet. This is a magnet. It's not bad. That way, you know, I slap these on at work. At my job, on my refrigerator, on their, uh, my break room refrigerator. Put this in the doctor's office. At, at my job, break room refrigerator. Um, you know, down on a bulletin board. You know, that people can see. I might I might even just, man, I'll stick a thumbtack through there. Put it on put it on a bulletin board at work. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I'm trying to get business. I'm trying to advertise. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this advertising work. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm spending money to try to make this advertising work. That's why you spend money on advertising to get more business. And that's what I'm trying to do. I don't care. Next year, I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to hit it hard in February, like I said. So, guys, that's all I got for you right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come up with some more brainstorming, things like that. Oh, uh, I got a grid that I got that, uh, that I came up with uh, for my aeration prices and stuff like that. So, I got a grid that I'm going to go buy. You know, if you're a customer, you might get a... A discount uh, if you are an elite customer I might give you a discount uh, you know if you're a one-time you know if you're not my customer 
eh, he probably won't get a discount. But if you are my customer, you know, I might give them a discount when they do aerations with me and stuff like that. So that being said, guys, I'm out. Um, I hope you enjoy the video somewhat. I know it's somewhat long, but this is what I got going on. I got some changes next season on like training Kane to run the business, uh, which is going to free me up and I can be able to do more things for the business, I'm hoping, um, and uh, go from there. Um, uh, like I said, like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button, do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. Peace.